It has been a long time since I've posted about my observation hive. This all used to be honey down here, and they started packing honey up here. This was even capped honey a little while ago, but now it seems that it is a little nectar um, right here. Let's see if I can focus. There's a bee emerging. One of the last ones that I've seen. This used to be full of brood just a few days ago, so it looks like it's been hatching out really well. It's interesting, they've propolized all around the outside. I'm sure there's some air getting through. The colony seems to be only up in this portion which is pretty cool but you can see it's fairly deep in there it's kind of hard to focus down in there let's see it's about six frames deep And they seem to be moving their resources further inside. My guess is just preparing for winter. The temperature is 59. The date is completely wrong. I think it's the 10th. And I'm just enjoying watching these bees get ready for winter. I have not seen the queen in months, but that's okay. I don't see any new eggs or anything in these cells. But they are quite busy on the outside. I was in here the other day just watching them and I saw, um, I saw one Varroa. Oh, here that guy is that's hatching. Right here. I saw a few Varroa on different bees, but as I've been looking this morning and the past few days when I come out to kind of observe them, I have not seen much or any. So I'm actually not too worried about them. This bee right here, let's see if I can get it in there and focus. There are a couple bees like this one right here that have deformed wing virus. I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but the wings are actually completely scrunched. The bee looks fairly decrepit. And it's interesting because I'm watching the bees kind of attack it and try kicking it out. Let's see. Yeah, that's a messy window, all right. I've got clean outs on the bottom. Down here, you can see that hole right there. And uh, the bees actually are keeping the bottom fairly clean. And then, the duff, there's a hardware cloth right up there, and every once in a while I empty it, but you can see right in here, that's the duff. Dead bees, anything they don't want, they know they can just drag to this hole, and once every couple weeks, I'll empty it for them. I don't know if I'll continue to do that throughout the rest of the winter, just because I think it adds some insulation. If the uh, the bees are kind of blocking that hole, it might prevent some cold breezes. I don't know. I've got holes across the top. You can see the one inch. It's hardware cloth stapled up here. And then one here too. This is how I feed them. As I cut it to fit. Oh man, they propolized that. Yeah, they did. So 
So the bees are getting closer to getting in their winter cluster. It's the middle of September here in northern Illinois. So I'm excited to, to kind of peek in on these throughout the winter. A little burr comb right in there. Still a fairly healthy population. When it's really cold and all the bees are up above, now's the time where I usually like to empty this bottom out. So bear with me as I'm trying to do this with one hand. What I do is first I've got just a wooden shim right here kind of on a swivel. Oops. So I just open this. Move the dead bees over. Oh wow, look at this bee right here. Come on, you can see the varroa running all over it. See one right there on its wing. So this guy was clearly kicked out of the hive. There's one still hanging on there. But now I'm peeking up through this hole. I see a varroa on that bee too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flick him off. And then I'm just gonna slide that back shut and then put that container in there now this is a good way for the bees to be able to clean out their hive every once in a while I dump this out on the table and I inspect the dead bees just to see what's what's in there what the bees might be dealing with but it's a quick little update from my observation hive built in my garage. Thanks for watching. Good night, bees.